Hello everybody, it's Sarah and today I am going to talk about this fun series here which is the Codex Alera by Jim Butcher. This is a high fantasy series consisting of six books and I am going to put them down right now because they're really heavy. Keep the first book right here which is The Furies of Calderon and this series actually has a really fun story. I'm not sure if I I'm going to recite it correctly right now. But as far as I understood it, Jim Butcher made a bet with someone saying that he was able to write a fantasy series which is based on the ancient Roman Empire as well as Pokemon. And so this is like what came out of him trying to do that. And I kind of can see it, but I only read that after I read the first book, so I didn't really think that it's obvious in the first book. It's kind of, The Roman influence kind of is obvious, but the Pokémon not so much. And this takes place in a world where everyone has power over the so-called Furies, which are kind of elemental powers. So there's wood, earth, water, air, fire and metal. Everybody has some amount of power over these furies except for our main character Tevi who just he he can't do anything with the furies and he has to learn to grow up with that. When his valley, his, the place where he lives is threatened, he even though he doesn't have any powers goes on an adventure to save it and it's just like goes on from there and then there's some crazy revelations and stuff like that basically. So this review is going to be spoiler free, it's going to be about the whole series so even if you have not read it you don't have to be worried. What do you think of this series as a whole? I really really liked it. I would even go as far as to say I loved it. When I read the first three, four books, I really thought that I was going to move it to my favorite shelf right behind me here and I don't have any space left on this shelf, honestly. But then the fifth and the sixth book weren't too much to my liking. I still enjoyed them, especially the last book, but they just pushed the series down enough so that I still have it on my main bookshelf and not right here. The thing I enjoyed most about the series were definitely the characters as well as the whole militaristic structure. A lot of the series takes place in the army and I really enjoyed the mixture between politics and intrigues and then the men fighting and just like army structure and tactics. There are a lot of battles and it's a like all about the tactics to win those battles and I really enjoy those types of books because I really like to think how are they going to get out of the situation and stuff like that. So that was an aspect that I enjoyed a lot. I think some of the characters could have been a little bit less straight laced. Most of the main characters are like really good guys and like the worst they can do is just go out to drink every night and sleep with prostitutes and really if that's the worst you can do in this kind of book where there are a lot of very evil villains that's you could do worse. But still the characters were my favorite, favorite part of this book. I fell in love with all of them. I really enjoyed the way Tavi handled a lot of situations. He always handles them in very curious and very creative ways, which is one of the main characteristics of him and which is because he has had to grow up without like being able to use furies. And now, I feel like I'm going to say a lot more negative stuff about this series than positive stuff, but I still really like it and the stuff that I liked was just like 
monumental. It was like, I liked the characters and I liked the tactics and I liked the intrigue. It's not specific things that I can say I liked, but on the other hand, it is specific things about this book that I can say I didn't like. For example, I didn't like the way that the characters were very straight-laced. And what I also didn't like is that I feel Jim Butcher played it very safe in writing this series. There are a lot of risky paths that I would have loved to see the series go down that Jim Butcher didn't take, especially concerning the villains and also concerning the good guys at the ending. The ending again is very safe and he didn't take any risks and chances and it's like a very huge happy ending. I of course love it if an ending is very happy but I also just like it when there's a few tears <laughs> which wasn't in this book. So even though I really like the characters and even though I really like the story as a whole, I just wasn't emotional enough for me personally to give the series as a whole five stars and put it on my favorite shelf. And also the last negative thing I have to say about the series is that, how do you say it, I just I didn't like the twists because I thought they were kind of obvious. Like there's this whole huge reveal at the end of the third book and I guessed it halfway through the first book. I didn't even guess it, I was already like 90% sure. And so that, that wasn't too well done. But anyways, if you have read this series, please tell me if you enjoyed it or if you enjoyed it as much as I did because oh, again even though I said a lot of negative stuff right now I really really enjoyed this series and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who likes to read fantasy who loves to read fantasy and I actually also would recommend this series to people who are just starting out with fantasy because I felt at least in the German translation I read it in German so I can't say anything about the writing at least in a German translation, it was very easy to read and very fast-paced, which a lot of high fantasy books don't tend to be. And I felt like in the first book, like the world building was very fast-paced and it didn't take the whole of the first book to build the story up and to build up the world. But that was it for this video and this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and if you want to see more of my reviews, please click below to subscribe. All the links to my social media are in the description box down below. So go and friend me and follow me and just see what I generally do. And I hope I'll see you soon.